If you press this button and you go down, you go to your dream world. These are the horns of the dragon and then the eyes here. We've added this so it don't tip over, but it's still tipping over. My dream world is where unicorns are. So Thingamabobbers started life as an installation that tours through theatres. Um, we call it a circus troupe of mechanical creations. With British Council Spark Festival in Hong Kong, we have developed these workshops in a school in the UK and a school in Hong Kong. Each school we were working with two different years and we would come in and run three workshops with each year. In the first week we, we ran a kind of quick technical workshop where they made things like scribble bots, they made little um, using mechanical creations and mechanical sculptures, they made things that would move around in circles. The second workshops we looked at well, if you were going to make something yourself and we hadn't, you know, your own sort of exhibition, your thing and blah, what you'd like to do? My first thoughts were that I, we could like make a console that had some battery as well so you can like, so the disc might move as well. So I've been making a football game where you move the ball and you have to try and, you're the goalie and you have to try and block the ball from getting in the goal. When, when this little cardboard thing you can see in, yeah. it, mo it makes it move and then this plugs into, um, th into this, what, in here, uh -huh. the motor, and then, and then this is some like stuff. A radar app. An important part of the project was not only the working with the children, but also working with the artists in Hong Kong. The project is very meaningful and interesting. I think, um, first of all, it helps the cultural exchange between students in Hong Kong and the uh, uh, United Kingdom. And besides, um, the programs teach the students how to think in a mechanical way, and they have to like they have to build something practical. And lastly, they have to use um, the recycled materials which bring the awareness of the environmental protection. And lastly, you know, they have to work in a group. So they have the, they have the students to learn um, cooperative. The collaborations like between two continents is very constructive. Uh, and I, I think that, that is uh, because Especially this day, uh, traveling is, is more difficult. So in a virtual sense, like, like there's a certain kind of connectedness like to the outside world. Just even make them imagine there's, a, there's somewhere a lot of people also doing a lot of creative practice here and there, making them a kind of a company. Uh, but not only uh, within the region, but more kind of expanded in a global sense. I think that is in an early age uh, uh, as a kind of starting point is, is, is nice. Oh, it's really been a wonderful opportunity for the children's imaginations to really be sparked. Yeah, and I think it, it, to a certain extent it just allows them a, a certain level of freedom to build and to make. Um, to also critically think about what they're building and what they're making, what the changes. And at each point, because they're working with materials that are, are very flexible in some ways, card and paper, things fall apart, things need to be attached. And all of that kind of changes the way that the final piece might look. And, and I suppose it's just um, that has been really quite mm. helpful. It's really given them an opportunity to get things wrong and for that to be absolutely fine, <laughs> a learning experience.